The Jason Tatum overrated underrated argument is very fascinating to me because on the one hand, I actually kind of understand why some people view him as overrated. Here's this guy who I think wants to be considered one of the best players in the NBA, one of the top guys, you know, the short list of guys you mentioned, and he's just not that. He's not a top five player, and there's no shame in that. He's still unquestionably a top 10 player, but he's not the cream of the crop. He's not a legitimate MVP candidate. And so in that sense, he falls short. And again, if we measure him by like the cream of the crop, that top R, he falls short. And a lot of people view that as a negative. People view it as a negative that, you know, even with the Celtics making six conference finals in the last eight years, he still doesn't have a championship to that name. People view that as an indictment against him. People view the fact that he's had such a loaded team and hasn't been able to win a championship as an indictment against Tatum. And the thing that I've always found fascinating about this argument is that it feels like when the conversation is about Tatum, it's a very glass half empty perspective. It's viewing everything that he is and viewing it in a pessimistic lens. When I think if you do the opposite, then things become different. Like, oh, okay, he's not a top five player. Cool, there's no shame in being worse than Giannis, Jokic, Luka, like all those guys. Like there's, there's nothing wrong with that. And then, oh, oh, he's made six conference finals in eight years with a loaded team. Like blah, 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 he, he, of course he's done that. Like not everyone does that. Not everyone makes six conference finals in eight years. I know that the championship is everything we play for. That's the main goal. I'm not trying to, you know, discredit that, you know, belief at all, but it's like, it, making six conference finals in eight years doesn't just happen because if it did we'd see a lot more teams doing it you just saw with the nuggets like even when you're the defending champs have home court advantage you're playing this inexperienced minnesota team like sometimes stuff can just happen and you don't make the conference finals like that happens so for tatum's team to make six conference finals in eight years that's not nothing he's been an elite playoff performer i know and this is another one of the things why i think you know tatum doesn't necessarily get enough credit because i don't think his game necessarily stands out in any way it, it's not flashy it's not built on you know insane athleticism or, or insane passing chop shooting it's just very fundamentally sound and and with that you could sort of his game can sort of fall through the cracks his performances can sort of fall through the cracks but then you look at his his playoff averages since he became an all-star uh in 2020 in the last five playoffs his career playoff averages 26 points and nine rebounds 5.6 assists per game those are elite numbers now granted he's only shooting 44 percent from the field which is not great but like 26 9 and 6 those are elite numbers and we just treat them like they're nothing because you know they don't necessarily stand out in the way he gets them and oh because he plays on a loaded team and, and and all this stuff like even in these playoffs he's been elite 26 10 and 6 again only 29 percent from three the efficiency could use some work but like we just throw that to the side when it comes to Tana for no reason oh well of course he's putting up those numbers like his team is loaded like every team you know every elite team is loaded with talent that's how it works that shouldn't discredit what you're doing because if it was so easy everyone would do it oh my god jason tatum how does he not have a championship they meant to six conference finals in eight years how does he still not have a championship like i don't know how many times we have to keep pointing out that it takes time for the greats of the game to win their first championship lebron was 27 mj was 28 kd was 28 steph was 27 Jokic and Giannis also in their late 20s like this stuff takes time but Tatum has been so far ahead of schedule that we sort of we've sort of like tweaked the expectations to be like oh he should he should get it done because he's been in these positions he should get it done instead of realizing like oh no these are just the lumps that every young player has to take yeah he didn't look great in the 2022 finals he struggled there guess what that's what happens instead of dumping on him for not performing great in his first NBA finals like think about how much healthier the conversation would be if we just point out like wow this dude made the nba finals at 23 years old as the leading man that's like super impressive do you see what i'm talking about where it's the it's the glass half full glass half empty like the perspective stuff about it and so i'm not trying to say this to absolve tatum of any expectations especially in this year's finals i think this year of all years with this loaded team by the way that's another criticism oh my god of course you know it feels like even if he wins people aren't going to give him credit this year because they're going to say like oh he was on a loaded team so of course he should win like every championship team is loaded with talent that's usually a big reason why you win the championship is because obviously there's a whole lot of factors in winning a championship but one of the biggest ones is like our team is more talented than yours that's not all everything that goes into a championship but it's a lot of it but like yeah like of course you want so like every team has talent and so that shouldn't discredit tatum but think about how much healthier the conversation with tatum would be if you know we viewed it in you know a healthier perspective more optimistic less pessimistic more glass half full instead of glass half empty which is not to absolve him of any expectations this year because this year of all years it really should be title or bust you there's literally no excuse you're in the finals you are you have the experience of the finals loss a couple years ago you are 
you have you are better your team is better I think they're going up against a Mavs team that is super talented and can easily win the championship. I'm not tr trying to discredit Dallas at all, but you know, it's not like a Warriors team where like they know how to outsmart you because they've done this before. They're just as inexperienced, I guess, except for Kyrie and, and I guess Jason Kidd as well. But like the, the window's open, it's there, but it's just, it's so weird to have seen all these playoffs, everyone just taking every chance to dump on Tatum. The second he has a bad game, it's, oh my God, he sucks. Even when he has a good game, it's like, of course, because his team is loaded. It's like, why, like, why are we so quick to make everything into a negative like this dude has literally done accomplished so much since coming into the nba literally from his first season when he helped get the celtics to the conference finals when you thought because they didn't have Kyrie, they didn't have gordon hayward they wouldn't get there and instead of celebrating everything that he is and everything that he's done which is a lot again i know it's not a championship he doesn't have, have an mvp but if it were so easy you'd see so many more guys doing what he did and you could say oh well he's been put in such a good position you know what a that's not his problem b then at least he's capitalizing on it because we've seen guys be put in great positions who don't capitalize on the opportunity. He at least is capitalizing on it. Okay, he doesn't have a championship. Winning a championship is hard. There's a reason why a lot of 25-year-olds don't do it. There's a reason why LeBron and MJ, the two greatest players in NBA history, it took them some time to win a championship because it takes time even when you're that great because no amount of talent can prepare you for the development that you are going to need. And so, again, it's it's not about... I, the pressure is so still on Tatum in these, in these finals and I'm not trying to take it off him. I just like I've just like always found it so ridiculous how the conversation turns so pessimistic and so negative for someone who you know again despite his very real shortcomings the fact that you know he hasn't won a championship the fact that there have been times where he's come up short the fact that he's not a top five player he's not on the same class as Jokic, Giannis, or Luka those guys like he's still really really good he's still a top ten player he's still an elite player he's still an elite playoff performer and I'm just tired of I, I've been tired for a while of acting like that's just nothing without a championship. 